Um, I am John Andrews. I am showing my work I've done for Project 2. Um, just before I begin, big disclaimer, sorry if the camera's a little jittery. I'm doing this on a headset, and I chose a very high-fidelity way of movement. So I implemented my hands as my main movement um, kind of uh, procedure. So uh, basically, my both of my arms kind of act like as a fulcrum, and as I move around the environment, I can actually, my hands will do the movement for me, so I go back and forward, jump a little bit, stuff like that. Um, additionally, around the map, there are um, the teleportation anchors. Uh, as you can see, I just teleported. Um, I chose these because I have like a little bit of a difference in height in the map, just because I can make it a little more climbable. And of course, teleportation is best when you want to get from different places relatively quickly. And um, so uh, there's one up there, one up there. And then as you can see, there's like a stairway leading up the mountain that you're able to climb. There's one at the very, very top. So yeah, I uh, primarily chose it because there's different levels. Um, but yeah, so I chose, I will, as I am, kind of walking towards the treehouse, kind of explain why I chose this. So I primarily like high fidelity movement scenarios. Um, you can kind of use, like, some people use, like, the joystick or, like, just general teleportation, but I find it really, really entertaining when I'm able to kind of, um, explore my environment with my actual hands and kind of give interesting interactions between it. So, uh, for instance, here's a ladder. Um, Normally people might just actually have an animation or just like teleport up it, but for instance when you have like this kind of Movement with actual hands instead of like that. I can like climb it. I can grab it like this or like that So I can actually like move up like that, but for sake of this I'm just gonna go like this go up. Um, I can like go all the way grab it stuff like that but Yeah, um, there's tree houses um, As I was talking about there's a little bit of like platforms connected to the mountain so you're able to climb up and stuff um, now, um, well, this is really, really interesting to kind of see me just from my own perspective. I additionally added a high quality feature, which I'll kind of show right now. So basically, from the camera, you can actually look at yourself. Uh, please work. Yeah. So you're able to kind of see yourself in a 3D perspective. I think this is really cool for just like general climbing. So I'm going to be leaving like this, but uh, I can kind of go around my environment now. And you can see behind me while I see in front of me. So it's a different perspective, so I can actually, I still see what I normally see, but um, for you, the user, you kind of see me in a different light. Um, like I said, everything in this map is climbable, so like this, um, little rope bridge right here is climbable. So go like this. Yeah, that's fun. Um, I can initially move around. Um, it's actually looking a little weird on my end, but I am in like, kind of like a apartment with not the biggest amount of space. So I'm doing my best. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Kind of talk about, uh, this would be a good idea to actually use the teleportation. So I can kind of go like this, teleport over here. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, different levels of teleportation, I'm allowed to use the anchor, or I can use the anchors, um, just like for a better use. Um, I can also teleport up here, and that gets me up there. Um, if you really want to, you can go down and then climb all the way up here, which is a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to teleport back. And another um, kind of different thing I added is a trampoline. I thought it'd be fun to kind of mess around with some of the actual materials. So I made one that's bouncy, so I'm able to kind of bounce. And when you actually hit it, it makes like a bouncing noise. Um, I haven't been able to hit this. In. So let's hope. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so very like frictionless. Um, you have a bounce, so the player will actually bounce and stuff. And of course, you hear some like ambient music, which is AI generated. But yeah.